back again doing crafts in my basement drunk crafts in my basement hey, hello all welcome back to my channel drunk crafts with Paige I am Paige and I'm drinking a cider I usually am um, and today we're going to be doing something just a little bit different from our regular old acrylic pour um, I have this plain old it's just a wood plate. I found this at Hobby Lobby. I don't remember how much it cost me, but it was just, it was natural wood colored. I painted the white on for like a base coat um, so the wood wouldn't show through. But I've been trying to figure out what to do with it. Um, the main, the end game was to have a nice decorative plate that I could go and display on my table, um, not to eat with, no. Um, it's just gonna be for decoration. And I toyed with another pour. I toyed with um, maybe doing some resin designs. And I decided I wanted to do a mosaic. Um, I don't think we have done a mosaic together and uh, I thought that that would be super cool to do a mosaic on this plain plate and then once it's all done we're gonna go and resin over the top of it so if you guys are interested in joining for that craft stick around so like I said we are decorating this just plain colored plate um, I pre-painted it white as a base coat because I had no idea what I wanted to do with it at the time. So if you guys are interested in doing this as well, you can choose whatever base coat you want. Um, I just did the white so I didn't want, because I didn't want the natural wood showing through. Um, you could leave it plain if you wanted to, um, but as I said, you could... Um, do it uh, any color you would your your heart desires our first step is uh, we're going to be collecting the materials that we will be making said mosaic out of um, there are so many different kinds of mosaics you can use tiles you could use just random pieces of anything um, you could create a picture out of it if you wanted to by you know if you did use tile you could um, create an image but I thought it would be super cool if we used uh, CDs um, I have I was born in the 90s so I have like oodles of mixed CDs that I made when I was a child and not all of them are necessarily labeled some of them just said like my mix on them but either way they are CDs that I have not used in a very long time, and I plan on smashing them to hell. <laughs> so we're going to break these CDs apart. Um, we're going to take the shiny, cool, like metallic-y side, and that's what's going to go face up. Um, and if you guys choose to do this and you also elect uh, CDs as your item, um, safety first. Uh, I will be using safety glasses, although I do have regular glasses, but I will be using safety glasses to protect my eyes. Um, you could also use gloves as well if you are nervous about like stabbing yourself with these CDs. So that is going to be our first step is shattering all the CDs into tiny little pieces. So now that we have all of our CDs broken and we have enough pieces to cover the entire plate, I actually, uh, I broke several and then kind of spaced them out on the plate to make sure I had enough. Um, and then I broke more depending on what I needed. I have enough pieces that I am confident my plate is going to be covered. And my next step is going to be gluing them all down in place. Um, 
because I plan on coating the entire thing with resin, I don't care so much about the type of glue that I'm using. I think I just plan on using Elmer's glue for the time being, just so I stick it in place, it's gonna dry clear, and I don't want the CD pieces to like move about on me. If you do, uh, like if you don't plan on covering this with resin, um, you might want heavier dutier, <laughs> some better glue, um, maybe even like uh, super glue, something that is a little bit more sturdy and that would not come off in the long run. We're gonna get to placing all the little pieces. <laughs> it's gonna take a while. Um, we're gonna place them down, we're gonna glue them down, and we'll be back. All of the pieces are now glued down, dry, ready to go. Um, I did not turn my ring light on so I wouldn't blind you guys. But how cool is she? Super shiny. Obviously, I have some cracks in between all of my pieces. And this is another time where you guys have some options. If you have watched my fake stained glass video, we used white Elmer's glue with just a little bit of black acrylic paint um, and I feel like that would be pretty easy to control and put between these cracks. You could also use regular old caulk. Um, I have seen other mosaics with cement that you kind of push down into the cracks and then wipe the surface clean and it looks really pretty. But I figured because we are going to be resining over the, in the top of all of this that I could play around with some uh, just regular resin mica pigments. And so I have mixed together a couple colors. You can't really see it in this tiny medicine cup. Oh, kind of. But I mixed together some blue, uh, green, purple, silver, just a lot of colors uh, like oil spill ones or ones that are similar to the backs of these CDs. And I think I'm just gonna take a brush and kind of brush it in between all of the cracks. And then when we're done, like I said, we're gonna just resin over top. Speaking of resin, I actually already went and taped up the bottom of this because we are just going to be brushing on uh, the color to it. It would have been a lot more difficult to apply the tape and move the plate around once the pigment was already brushed on. So I got the taping out of the way. It's already prepped and ready for resin, but first we're gonna go ahead and brush the pigments on to the cracks and then it's resin time. So the color of the pigments on the plate ended up being super subtle. You couldn't really see it from up above, but it kind of just left a pearly sheen on everything with just like a little bit of color. But either way, I kind of like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour some resin over top. promised brought her outside it's not super sunny but you can still see all the cool reflections off of it you can see the center is like totally level from the resin and it just kind of coated the edges enough that it smoothed them over and it looks so cool and I'm really excited to you know just make this a display piece probably in the center of my dining room table so, I'm pretty proud. It's a pretty decent mosaic. Might try some other material, get a little bit more adventurous with another one. And there's the cat in the corner of my video because he wants to come outside. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. All of my links are down below in the description box for my Facebook, my Instagram, 
my PayPal if you feel like donating at all. My Facebook also has some pieces up for sale if you'd be interested in that either. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well continuing on with this quarantine and I'll see you all for the next video.